Hey, what's up neighbors, Double A Flare here, bringing you another Destiny video. So, the weekly update has come out this week, and this one is actually kind of interesting. Um, it's not so much about patch notes, but more about the weapons we'll be getting uh, in the Taken King, and how they're kind of redesigning them. Uh, so we're gonna get be we're gonna be getting three new weapon factions. I don't know if this includes uh, or this will be like the Dead Orbit, Future War Cult, uh, New Monarchy type thing, uh, where you can rank it up and whatever, and they'll have their own like character, or it'll be replacing them, or they'll just be added in. Hopefully, they'll just be added in, um, and that means we'll be getting even more weapons uh, on top of the ones we already have. So. Let's get into these weapon faction s things. Uh, but first, there in the weekly update, we have a historic note provided by Commander Savala. So uh, he says, The weapons used by our guardians come from the salvage remains of our golden age and new discoveries in advanced energy systems. After the collapse, gunsmiths, who were the best at repur repurposing and repairing these artifacts, qu quickly became crucial to any group's survival. But with large arsenals comes power, and threats to our common goals force the city to monitor the size of its weapon foundries. The foundries that survive today are the best of the best. Some are built on centuries, old traditions, and tribal knowledge. Others grew with new discoveries and rediscoveries, and each one has proven vital to our survival. Uh, so the first weapon faction, uh, it's Hak... Haki? Hak? Hak? I don't know how to... Say. It's an A... H, uh, A with the two dots over it. I don't even know what that, um, that's called. Uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> and then it's KKE. I'll have, probably have it written on the screen somewhere. It's pretty much two orange pluses beside each other. Uh, so these guys are, uh, building reliable tools built for soldiers in the field. Hack, hack, hacke, hack. I'm just going to say Hawk. Uh, excuse if I say it wrong, but I'm going to go with Hawk. Uh, Hawk values simplicity over intricacy. Function over flare. Hawk weapons all start with a more tightly focused band of base stats that don't spike as high or low as other weapon families, granting a solid foundation for growing the weapon. On a Hawk talent grid, you'll see a simplified set of scopes that work best for the weapon. Front-loaded perk nodes with, uh, with the state stat upgrade options occupying the final column hack perk selections is focused on offensive action and combat tactics hack pulse rifles fire a burst of four rounds with damage adjusted to match a dps of a three round burst meaning the pulse rounds do less individual but are equal as a group fire time between each burst is slightly faster okay so this is uh this is interesting uh because this means that these weapon factions are all going to have different uh, type of weapons, and their guns are all going to feel different, which is really nice. Because um, as you can see, the Hawk weapons are have a specific way of ranking up, and the Pulse Rifles are completely different. Um, after th this little paragraph, it shows uh, an auto rifle, a shotgun, and a Pulse Rifle uh, concept. So obviously we're going to get more than just those. Um, but it's just showing... Uh, what their t type of guns would look like and uh, they kind of look they look a lot more like modern like our time more than future um, so yeah uh, I, I can't wait to see what some of these guns look like next we have the creators of the hard life um, I like their logo that's pretty cool uh, so their weapons uh, pioneers of energy weaponry, Amalon is the very first is the first foundry to experiment beyond the world of combustion ballistics, sporting lighter ergonom ergonomatic or oh my gosh, ergonomic frames. Amalon weapons all start with generous base handling stats to build from. Amalon stack stack grids focus on behaviorally uh, perks over stack customization. Legendary talent grids are the only weapons that offer three perks. One is the first non scope upgrade and two as a binary choice in the final column. Perk selection in the final column. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Perk selection favors perks that are energy-based and or go beyond the point to interact with the wielder's abilities or status. Um, so these weapons, um, I don't, I don't, I guess they have more perks and they have better base stats, I think is what I got from this. 
Um, so yeah, um, their weapons, they all look like hard light, which is really cool. Shows a scout rifle, hand cannon, and sniper rifle. I really like um, how we're kind of, I wonder if the Hawk, Hawk built uh, an exotic. I'm thinking maybe the last word, because that thing looks modern. Um, but anyway, anyway, to the final faction, we have the legendary, the one that everybody knew, Soros. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. All right, so some say the best weapon for a guardian is the one they can customize to match their intent. Soros believes in options, weapons that can be repurposed for a variety of combat situations. Soros talent grids offer two columns of two stat perks, granting more options for changing weapon stats than any other foundry. The single behavior perk is grounded in the middle of the talent grid as a focus point for the weapon's core potential. Uh, if you want a weapon that can flex from CQ or close quarters to range, quick to powerful, fast handling to hard hitting, all with a swap of a few nodes. This is Soros. Uh, so it shows an auto rifle. Looks, it looks cool. Uh, it doesn't look like the Soros regime, which I like. Uh, they're not just going off the Soros regime model. And that rocket looks pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, the inspect this inspection doesn't off uh, cover the entire product line that Hawk, Amalon, and Soros have to offer. Uh, we're holding back a number of armament categories for you to discover for yourself as a taken. Uh, war escalates. Um, so there'll be more choices than ever before to arm yourself in the tower. Factions will have their own guns. Classes will have their own... Wait, what? Classes will have their own guns? More quests will lead you directly to specific guns. Even the gunsmiths will have a new way to include you in his enterprise. We'll inspect all of that uh, as well before you earn the means to equip yourself to meet a rising threat. That's cool. Um... So also what we have here uh, is the uh, art contest for year one uh, is starting. Uh, the prizes are seven uh, creators will win a collector's edition of the Taken King and 50 creators will earn a blacksmith shader. So uh, I don't know if any of you guys are artists out there, but I recommend going into that, uh, joining in, just trying something. You could get a blacksmith shader, even the Taken King for free. Uh, also... Trials of Osiris this week will not have a specific map. The rotation will be random of the six maps that we've already had before, which includes uh, Pantheon, Cauldron, Burning Shrine, Black Shield, uh, Thieves' Den. I don't. I, I barely know the new maps. Um, Thieves' Den and Widow's Court. Uh, also, next week the Iron Banner uh, will be returning. I am pretty sure. Uh, so stay tuned for that. It is, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, oh wait, no, Iron Banner's not returning, what am I saying? Ripperoni, I don't even, what did I, f wait, what? Did I even, okay, I don't know, I thought I read it, but it doesn't say it. Um, hmm, interesting, uh, but there will be a hot fix. Uh, which includes the Nepal Digital Rewards. Supporters of the Guardians to the aid of Nepal campaign. Shader and emblem codes will be delivered via email. If you got the uh, purchased the t-shirt from Nepal, um, you're going to get your shader in the next uh, patch. Also, Husk of the Pit fix. Husk of the Pit will again drop from Blades of Crota. Go to Fist of Crota mission on Cosmodrone. Drop rate has been increased from the original rate. Thank God, because uh, I heard the Husk of the Pit was not dropping. Um, so, yeah. Other than that, this has been the weekly update. Uh, pretty long one, not as long as last week, uh, but it was interesting to see what uh, they've been doing and how we're not going to have the same old factions, uh, etc. Uh, faction like uh, Dead Orbit, New Monarchy, Future War Cult, Vanguard, and Crucible. We're going to have three more. Hopefully, we'll still have. Uh, I'm hoping actually that Dead Orbit and all that will have their own original uh, designs. Crucible as well as uh, and Vanguard, uh, but I guess we'll just have to see. Uh, leave a comment which uh, faction you are most excited for. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with the Hawk because I or maybe Soros. Soros weapons look really cool, but so do the Hawk ones, and uh, they look old school, which I kind of like. So actually, I'm gonna go with Hawk. Uh, leave uh, what do you think? Oh, 
one of my thing. Leave the one you're most hyped for in the comments section below. Remember to leave a like and subscribe for future Destiny content. My name is AA Flair. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.